Today, I'm going to talk about Blue Reflection Second Light, an RPG by Gust, one of my favourite game devs. I'll be touching on a basic intro to the series, improvements over the first game, the soundtrack, and, of course, my overall opinions on the game, and why you need to play it. Thank you to Koei Tecmo Europe for the review copy of this game, much appreciated. Now, let's dive in. I think most people were really surprised when this game got an anime, let alone a sequel game. It was a pretty, okay, a very niche game. It had a ton of amazing ingredients, which didn't quite come together perfectly. A high school setting and social sim, akin to a Persona game, dungeons based on the character's emotions, and a killer soundtrack. It wasn't a bad game, but despite the amazing elements and concepts, it felt quite rushed and the gameplay got a bit repetitive and tedious at times. In addition to this, the fan service, in my opinion, was a little bit too much. The sequel, Blue Reflection Second Light, is... I couldn't even believe how much of an improvement this was over the first game. Almost every element was improved and refined. Better combat, a lot more gameplay variation, more interesting characters and side events, the sequel also has a deeper, more engaging story, and a soundtrack which is just as sublime as the first, if not more so. I'll get into all of those things later. Okay, so let's get into it. What are the biggest improvements over the first game? Arguably, one of the biggest core improvements is the more interesting combat, which has a lot more depth. Rather than simple turn-based battles, the sequel now has active, turn-based combat, which is semi-real-time. You still control three characters, and there is a time element involved, but during each character's turn, time stops, and you're free to take your time choosing a skill or item. Gust's combat keeps getting better with each of their games, but if we compare this to Atelier Riser and Riser 2 system, I think I actually prefer this game. It keeps a fairly fast pace without being overwhelming. You're able to take your time and consider your actions. More depth builds up throughout the game, and it feels a lot more engaging. It's still easy to get overpowered very quickly if you're doing every day and side quest, Personally, this wasn't a big issue for me, but I'm just saying don't expect a super challenging game. There is also a New Game Plus feature with higher difficulties and DLC with more difficult enemies. Another one of the major positive factors is a deeper story which builds on the previous game and anime and is a lot more emotionally engaging. I was actually surprised at how much I enjoyed the writing and events in the plot. It's definitely a step up from the average Atelier game, in terms of story and depth. In the original Blue Reflection, most of the supporting cast was okay, but not that memorable due to the weak writing and translation. The character side events were just walls of text at times, which quickly became tedious even for the most likeable characters. Second Light fixes a lot of the issues from the first game. There's more of a link between the supporting cast and the overarching narrative. There are less girls, but each of them are very likeable, with interesting backstories that are directly tied into the dungeon crawling. The first game also had dungeons connected to the girls, but now they're a lot more visually diverse. And we get shown a glimpse into each girl's past via memory fragments. Without going into spoilers, every girl has a distinct personality and her own purpose for being in this world, as well as her own set of struggles. It was interesting to uncover more about each of the girls, and at times, the game does explore some deeper psychological elements too. I was really gripped throughout, which I can't say for the first game. As I said, it intertwines in a much more satisfying way, 
and even manages to tie in with parts of the first game and anime. With every new chapter, I was pleasantly surprised at how ambitious Gust tried to make this game's narrative. Of course, it's not always perfect, but I was really entertained. I just quickly wanted to circle back to the fan service aspect of the game. Don't worry, I won't go on about this too long. While it's not something I personally look for in games, I acknowledge there is a big audience for it. In the original Blue Reflection, I feel that the serious overarching narrative just clashed a bit with the tacked on, awkward, risque elements. It wasn't interwoven that well. With Second Light, the fan service isn't completely absent but it's done in a more subtle background kind of way. There are a lot of bonus DLC costumes you can buy to add some spice, and also additional school landmarks which feature more funny, flirty scenes. However, these all feel somewhat separate from the main game, which in my opinion is more cohesive. The reflector costumes which are part of the base game range from cute to sexy, and there are still Sailor Moon-esque transformation sequences. However, you can now switch them off. For me, the toning down of these elements let me enjoy the game more, as I wasn't constantly taken out of the experience. It also means I'm way more comfortable recommending it to more people. The dates you can go on aren't really romantic dates, although there are some exceptions. They really let you get to know the girls and their thought process. It fleshes out their character and makes them feel more human. These dates are another huge improvement over the first game. Not only are there more quality of life features, such as being able to skip to the exact location of the date, but also, it feels more like you're actually spending time with the girls, physically walking around with them, going to different landmarks in the school. It's kind of fun, honestly. You won't be able to max out your bonds with all the girls, but there is a New Game Plus option where half of your relationship points carry over to the next playthrough. This should be more than enough to max out all their skills and affection levels. The New Game Plus also adds higher difficulty modes for more challenge. If you're looking for a game with a relatively deep story that makes you think a little, makes you emotional, hits that cheesy anime spot while still being something you can get invested in, this game ticked all those boxes for me. I fell in love with all the characters, which is honestly rare for any RPG and I got pretty emotionally invested. Two girls in particular had a story arc that made me sob. I'm not ashamed to admit that. Let's talk about the soundtrack. Honestly, the one flawless element of the first game was the unique, stunning soundtrack. The original Blue Reflection, composed solely by Hayato Asano, was chock full of up-tempo EDM bangers. Electronic music with dubstep and drum and bass elements, particularly used in the battle and boss battle themes. The boss battle themes in particular stood out for their unique dynamic structure. The music did so much heavy lifting and made the game 10 times more emotional for me. Second Light soundtrack is on par with the first games, if not even better. Luckily, Asano returned as composer to deliver a stellar piece of work. There are still EDM and drum and bass elements throughout, and killer battle themes, but also a lot more ethereal, atmospheric, ambient tracks for each of the girls' heartscapes. They made exploration a joy for me. I loved when the composer used real-life sound effects for some music, such as crowded train stations or city streets, and this was combined with distorted glitchy sounds, which added more texture. Blue Reflection's music really stands apart from other Gust games and carves out its own unique identity. Of course, you'll recognise some Gust elements, but it's a whole new experience compared to Atelier or Serge Concerto. 
I was really impressed at how even the soft piano themes elevated the emotion in certain moments. The final boss themes didn't disappoint either. Very intense and epic. If you enjoyed any of Gust's previous games, or just story-heavy RPGs in general, you'll need to buy this game immediately. It's not the most complex or challenging RPG around, but it's such a major improvement over the first game and definitely worth playing. I was really proud of what Gust achieved and how ambitious this game felt. The visual and design upgrades, the improvements to combat and story, the way things felt more connected and intertwined, it just resulted in an amazing overall experience. Different types of people can enjoy this game on different levels. If you just want to play it for the cute girls and their visual appeal, the game has you covered. If you're looking for fun combat which isn't overwhelming or stressful, this game has that too. It's definitely not as easy as the previous game and there is a new game plus option with slightly more challenge. If you liked the first game, but were hoping for a deeper, more satisfying story, which is more interwoven, yes, it's all here. Overall, I was very impressed with this game, and I highly recommend it to anyone who enjoys RPGs, or is curious about it. Thanks so much for watching and please also check out my other videos. I've done a ton of other Gust related videos and they are one of my favourite developers so <laughs> I can talk a lot about their games. So yeah, please check those out. Bye.